The digital world offers us a good way to look something up. Instead of flipping through pages, trying to, trying to remember where inside this huge thick book a particular thing is, the digital world offers us the potential to just go immediately to the thing we're looking for. So if in the middle of a thousand page book, a philosopher mentioned a particular star, you can go, oh yeah, yeah, flip and you're there, you're reading it, you're not hunting for it. But books in and of themselves, physical objects that you hold, that you smell, that you flip through. And as those of us who are old enough to have this might remember the dictionary game where you're flipping through the dictionary or you're flipping through the thesaurus trying to find something you want and you come across all these other cool things along the way while you're looking for what you want. You go, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I can use that. Oh, you see, that is harder to do in the digital world. So as a librarian, I want there to be a spell book that Zia finds, that she picks up and carries, that we see open with its pages and the magic is coming from its pages. I want that cool thing because that appeals to the collector in all of us. And it appeals to everybody who's ever had a treasure that they've loved. And the treasure could be something they picked up in the street or it could be some little cheap plastic goo that came as a prize or in the bottom of a box of food or something. It doesn't matter how much its intrinsic value is, it's what it matters to you. Books can be really important as things. A computer, the cloud, um, bits and bytes that are out there that go away in an instant and are gone for good if there's a power failure and you can't read them. All you need to read your book is eyeballs, sufficient light, and knowing how to read, which itself is a wonderful mystery and a gift.